Uh, this year's musical is Hello Dolly. It runs three performances, Friday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 1 p.m., and Saturday at 7 p.m. Hello Dolly is a classic musical in the canon of music theater, um, written by Jerry Herman, the music, based on the text from an older play by Thornton Wilder called The Matchmaker. Leading ladies have long desired to be Dolly Levi, from Bette Midler to Bernadette Peters, to most famously Barbara Streisand in the film version of it. So you can expect a classic comedy crafted by an American prep playwright with just really underrated music and our kids do a fantastic job. We begin auditions and the audition process before Thanksgiving. The cast list is posted right at Thanksgiving break and kids are given their scripts that week so they can begin their work. We start rehearsals after concert season in our district right before Christmas. So students have been preparing the music and the lyrics and the choreography as early as, as mid-December. We have a large stage crew that has been building every Saturday, sometimes six to eight hours uh, a day. Um, a huge number of parent volunteers to help build the set. A pit orchestra of 35 students that has been working on Wednesday nights since December and a sound booth and light booth crew that have been coming in and putting countless hours. It really is a labor of love for everyone. Everyone's doing it on a volunteer basis to be with each other and to learn about the medium of theater. And it really culminates in this weekend's performance. It's a labor of probably 100,000 man hours put together. Dolly, the matchmaker, is trying to manipulate certain people to kind of be with each other. And again, this is not for an altruistic purpose. She is trying to manipulate them for her own gains. But in doing so, she sees the blossom of love in the dance. Our full ensemble does a gorgeous dance choreographed by our choreographer, Caitlin Colgan. And through that dance, she develops the courage to put herself back out there and that's a really poignant scene. Kind of a metaphor for, as COVID recedes, what are we gonna do, right, after, after trauma? Are we going to let the parade pass us by? Or are we gonna kinda try to rec reclaim our agency a little bit here? I, I'm just super proud of our students and our staff. This is a difficult show. Comedies are a lot harder than dramas. Students having to get into the mindset of characters who are significantly older have significantly more life experience. That's a tall order, and I am really proud. I think you'll be really surprised with um, the grace with which our students approach the material.